Okay, so welcome to your 16th HTML and CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to make something change using CSS when it's hovered over. So if we have a div and you hover the mouse over it, it might change pink or something. So for this, what we need is a div. And I haven't put an ID or anything to it, it's not needed. And it's just got the text hello world in it. So to start with this, what we're going to do is just do div, uh, put your curly brackets. We're going to give it a default background color of green. A width of 400 pixels. A height of 400 pixels. And that's it. So right now, I'm launching Chrome. We've got this big box, obviously when you hover the mouse over it, it does absolutely nothing. So let's make it, when you hover it over, it's going to turn red. So all we need is div, and then we've put a hover attribute to it. So colon, hover. Like this, and this will work with an ID or a class or whatever. And then all we have to do is put the new parameters, or the new property, sorry. So what I'm going to do is background, color and set this to red. And you don't need to worry about setting any width or height because it will automatically inherit from this and just make the changes. So now if I run that in Chrome, when I hover over it, you see it turns red. And there's no JavaScript in there, no nothing else. It's just CSS. In just a couple of lines we made a hover over. So we can also change, let's say we can change the color to be yellow when that happens. And we can also set, set the uh, font weight to be bold, maybe. This is really useful in making navigation bars and things to give you sort of that effect. So if I launch this in Chrome, you see it goes yellow and we've got the red background. Also, here's another really useful or really good use for it. Let's say I have a link here and we'll give it a hit href set it's equal to just empty right now to hash and not div a sorry and here we're going to put hello world now if I style this we can give it like a text decoration of none so if I run this in Chrome you see it's got no underlying on it, it's just blue and it's a link. So what about if we want to make it so that we get an underline once it's hovered over. Just do a colon hover and give it a text decoration, I'm going to copy this here, underline. And that will make it underline once it's hovered. So just replace this property with this one instead. So logic room, and there you go. Now I've seen a lot of sites do this. It looks really nice, uh, so that your users will still think it's a link when they hover over it, but it won't look like there's a ton of links, and it won't look horrible. So that's pretty much CSS hover properties. We can also make an image have a different image once you hover over it, or you can change any CSS properties basically with this. Change the width, the height whereabouts on the screen it is so yeah so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial